Imagine being promised health benefits and then having them taken away. The sudden closing of Harrison College stunned students last week, leaving them with questions about their education. But as RTV 6's Stephanie Wade found out, it's not just the students who are struggling. What the employees were once pledged has now been yanked away. Hundreds of faculty members at Harrison College are out of insurance and other benefits after being promised in a letter just last week that they were covered. It just seems like bad planning all around. Like almost, did you know that this was gonna happen? Did, did you not know that there was not funds to pay for any of this? On Friday, employees were sent this email from the CEO of the Indy-based for-profit college, saying because of declining enrollment and financial pressures, they are closing Harrison College immediately and that employees would continue to have health insurance through the rest of September. And then yesterday we got an email that said it, it was a pay in through both employees and the company since they're not receiving uh, payments from us anymore that there's no more benefits. Their benefits once guaranteed through the end of the month now gone. Families left without insurance scrambling to protect themselves. One of my good close friends and co-workers has a child that has strong medical needs. She has nothing now. To be told you have two weeks to get your affairs in order and then just kidding, you have nothing. I mean, that, that child is the one that's going to suffer. Not even a student, not a staff member, but the family members. Lead instructor for medical assisting at the downtown campus, Trevor Farnsworth, tells me he and the rest of Harrison's employees are not a part of a union. I contacted the Department of Labor to see what they're able to do to help, but they say the state cannot recover health insurance or benefits from companies only unpaid wages. Their only option now, according to the Department of Workforce Development, is to file for unemployment insurance. Were we just a way to make money for somebody? And were we doing any good in the end? Stephanie Wade, RTV6. The college has not gotten back to us after attempting to get information. We will keep you informed with their response.